Welcome back to the Our Generation Podcast. Your podcast with um with Connor on steroids. This is what happens when you snort creatine before the gym. Reputation. I took pre at four thirty in the morning. <laughs> Yesterday I had a mega monster and a bang, and I edited for twelve hours straight the Holy last shit. podcast. You yeah. did not tell me that. Well, it wasn't like straight. I took like breaks in between, but like it took from ten o'clock. To 10 at night and then i had to fix some shit and upload it so it went to like one in the morning it was fucked but caffeine's a great drug i highly recommend there are good <laughs> drugs and there are bad drugs kids uh, good drugs are like your medicines your molly your caffeine your uppers <laughs> I, we have a few things written down it's been a while since me and connor made a podcast Connor almost left the podcast. You want to tell that story? I I was having a little mental breakdown. <laughs> um, I'm not even gonna cap, like, Dude, it happens, bro. It was just so like it was a build up between shit at home, which was like kind of serious, yeah. but just like me and my mom's relationship is shot. Dude, shit at home definitely affects you like deeply. Yeah, bro. We're going to counseling on the first though, so no that's word. good. We haven't been in like. Four months. Dude, your counselors are really nice. He sounds just like one of the homies, kind of. Bro, he literally is, and I'm just, I can't believe he has a wife. Like, I'm not even gonna count. <laughs> I thought he was gay. I was so <laughs> convinced he was gay. Yeah, he's got the voice. He's I got the voice. We met, like, oh, I remember when I first met him in person, I was high as shit. <laughs> Do you listen to your album? Probably not. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, bro, he supports yeah. the music completely. Like, what did he say to the album? Did he, like, give you his honest thoughts on everything? Yeah, no, he was like, the quality's all there, like, you have talent, fucking, like, I have no doubt in my mind you're gonna make it. And I was like, better not be at the when you I know what it is! Freezing. Oh. My goodness, new track, on the way, on the way. I will remember you. Dude, it's good. It's fire. It's, it's, um, I think one of the highest quality tracks you've it ever made. Dude, that's actually one of my topics, new studio. Um... You want to explain, like, your new studio? The vibe. Fuck fit. Nah, I'm playing. Not fuck you, bro. Like, if you ever yeah. end up seeing this, I doubt he will. You're a good guy. I have a lot of, you know. You're not good. a horrible person, but, like, bro. Scum guy. Yeah, Sorry. nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go <laughs> off for a second, dude. This motherfucker, like, actually, nah, I'm not even gonna, to fuck it. Fuck, fuck it. it. Just I'm just gonna explain the new the shit. Table. I yeah. love you a bit, but I kinda hate you at the same time. New stew, guys lit. Fucking funny enough, I met this dude through a dude that I met at Luke's eye appointment that I didn't even <laughs> mean to go to. Like we were going to somewhere, I don't remember where. Yeah, he the fuck. actually had to do it and he kinda forgot like it. Oh no, he was bringing me to work. And oh. I'm chilling there in the fucking like waiting room and this dude like we just start hitting it off. It was right when I quit weed. He was like, oh, you make music? Like, I have a lot of buddies who do this, that. And I'm like, oh, no, I got a guy. And then I saw yeah. him at fucking Planet Fitness at, like, 7 in the fucking morning. <laughs> Holy shit, you striked up a little count, though. Yeah, and he was like, hey, uh, you, you still need, like, a music connect? I was like, perfect timing. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Is it like a... Is it like a house or, like, but what, like, kind of like what Vit had where it was like a like a... It is the dude's house, but he has the entire basement, like, completely just, like, finished out. Dude, that's sick. Like, you have soundproof is, is and the, fucking is everywhere. Is the booth, like, a glass? Yeah, thing. bro. That's it's like sick. an actual booth. It's so gas. He has a TV sick. in there, so you can, like, tell, like, the fucking engineer what you want. Oh, so sick, that is fucking sick. It's so nice. Or, like, was, like, the vibe good? Like, yes. good vibes, like it wasn't uncomfortable. It was, it was like, a good work environment. Yeah, everyone's like, just ready to, like, hustle and get it done. Yes. So, like, shit actually does get done. Everything at Vitz was, like, it wasn't a bad vibe, but there was just so much dicking around and, like, yeah. doing nothing. Yeah, freestyling about penis. Nah, bro, literally. <laughs> Every five minutes, someone brought up cock. And I was just like, dude, why? Like... I'm paying, <laughs> uh, clock's running, and Vitz sitting there freestyling about penis with fucking some dude on Molly. Oh, like, what the man, fuck? dude. You <laughs> M phase. Dude, your M phase was like a year ago today, wasn't it? Yeah, dude, I keep getting memories from it, and it's just like... Uh, it's so bad, I broke up with Amber and shit, and then I did a lot of things, and robbed of people. And I think the silver lining of everything that happened was memories. Not even good ones, just memories. There were a lot of good ones, though. Like, I won't even cap, like, a lot of it, there was a lot of fun, but yeah. it wasn't the right kind of fun. 
It's like the fucked up kind of fun. Like the demon mode kind of fun. I guess um, the next topic that I have is, <laughs> um, have you ever been in a fist fight besides like our slap box? Yeah. Well, can do you want to like tell the story of your fist fight? Like what? Like, I mean, there's been a lot of fights I've gotten into where I was just really fucked up and like nothing really came of it. Like, I'm trying to remember the last real fight I was in. Like, fists being thrown. Like, maybe, like, pushing, shove, and fucking, like, just, like, a lot of aggression. I'll be honest, bro. Just because, like, I'm I'm not afraid to fight. I just choose not to. Yeah, like, there's really no point if it's not necessary. If, I, like, you know, if it really comes down to it, I'm there. Because there was a little phase in my life where I just fought for, like, the fuck of it, you know? That's why I'm, like, I, I never had that. I never yeah. had the want to just go out and beat the fuck out of somebody. Yeah. Like, it was just back when I was working out. I had, like, this huge ego boost. I was like, yeah, fucking. I have, <laughs> I have that for defense on some, like, monk shit, bro. Meditating is actually good for you. Get that breath. That breath, baby. Breathe. I don't know. I was just fucking humming it soon. Yeah, if you're at home, meditate. Well, gonna... Especially after watching this podcast, your blood pressure is going to be through the fucking roof. I wouldn't... Uh, yeah, For wouldn't good or bad reasons, we don't but, know. Yeah, have we ever talked about the fact that, like, dudes at parties hate you, like, for some reason? I think we have, but it wasn't on video. You know what I think it is? I think it's, like, the first time I met you, like, you know, your confidence just gives off, like... Dick energy. I think at a party when someone's fucked up and they're feeling like the man, they, like, see you as, like, a threat, if that makes sense. Oh like, my god, dude. What? So, it's funny you say that. So, you remember when I dropped Amber? Yeah. I, so, Amber added me back on Snap and shit. And, like, I showed her the song before it released. She loved it. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh my god, I love it. It's a great song. Fucking this and that. Like, I'm happy, like... You know, you can come to terms with the fact that you fucked up. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, her boyfriend snapped me off her phone like 10 minutes later. He's like, why the fuck did you make a song about my girl? Fucking, like, coming out. Like, my actually neck. pressed? Yes. Like, really like, pressed? Tight as shit, oh. dude. Um, yeah. So, I went to fucking TJ Maxx, linked up with my friend Mackenzie, and, like, we're just vibing, whatever, whatever. And apparently, Amber worked at the Dunkin', like, two minutes over from it. Oh. So we go, we fucking, we're getting Duncan, and I'm like, yo, is Amber here? They're like, Amber? Amber doesn't work here. There's no Amber. And I was like, Amber Tessie. They're like, oh, yeah. Uh, they said that Amber was working, or worked there, but she wasn't on at the moment. I was like, oh, tell her I said hi. Like, my name's Connor. Y'all have probably heard of me as that guy. <laughs> and they were just like, oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. They were like, oh. Yeah, we got our coffee, we uh. dipped, and Amber texted me last night. Bugging, bro. She had my number blocked for the longest time, and she's like, "Why the fuck? Like, why? Why'd you go through my like? My, why? Why'd you come to my job and yell at all my fucking coworkers and this and that? How you know me? Like, what are we fourteen? Fucking." And I was like, "Wow." Bro, all I did was tell her wow. I said hi. Yeah. She was like, "That's not what I heard." I was like, "What the fuck did you hear?" She's like, "That you went to the drive-thru window and fucking yelled at everybody and this and that." And I was like, "No, you only do that when you're drunk." Yeah. Dude, I want to tell this. St was that the end of the story? Pretty much, like... Moral of the story, she, yeah. we were talking this morning, like, texting, I was yeah. like, well, yeah, you kind of blocked me and everything, so, like, I just wanted to, you know, tell people, like, or like to, to tell you why I said hello, and I hope you're doing well. She's like, my boyfriend made you yeah. want to add me. Uh, so, guess what? He sees me as a threat. <laughs> I want to tell the story on the podcast, so there was this one night where me and Connor... We, oh my we, God. we were sober, but we were so heavily sleep deprived that like, you know, when you're slap happy and you're, you literally are like act, like, acting like you're on drugs and like away, me and Connor, like, <laughs> this night was so ridiculous, bro. we were like, dude, let's just go get some fucking McDonald's. So we're driving it's to like McDonald's, midnight. fucking blaring music, you know, or we're driving, um, like Mario Kart. <laughs> And 
<laughs> this is before I crashed. Seven times. So I did not give a fuck. Yeah, it was confidence exuding the entire car. But we get we get to McDonald's. We're at the drive through. Connor's yelling slurs at the fucking like, you know guy over the phone. We pull up to the window. Connor's yeah, like, like slurs are just swearing. Yeah, just yeah, like just just being belligerent. And we pull like, up. To yo, can you fucking uh, <laughs> yo fucking dipping sauce is your fucking guy? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got fucking sauce, dude. Uh, we we, we yeah. got them all, sir. Yeah. <laughs> tell you. But we pulled up to the window, kind of like, dude, I am sorry. He's like, dude, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Fucking you stupid. Said that? Yeah, he's like, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Like, no, I don't kiss my mom, you fucking weirdo. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Connor hands him his card, and he's like, yeah. The dude's like, yo, uh, your card didn't cover all of it. You got cash? <laughs> Connor's no, like, yeah, Connor. It took off 11 cents. <laughs> <laughs> it took off 11 Connor's card no, came I'm 11 take cents. Off. I'm going to take off 11 cents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Connor were dying over the fact that this dude paid 11 cents on his card. <laughs> we, we hand him cash over. and uh, Before Halloween. Was it? Yeah, because uh, okay. we went to... Uh, oh man, dude, this summer was good. Last the COVID summer was pretty good. It was banging. Oh my god, in a way, in in its own special way. But there were these girls in the car in front of us, and they drive like to the other side of the this McDonald's, like to this, like a Rite Aid. And Connor's like, dude, let's go bother them. And I was like, dude, please, I don't. You're like, <laughs> let's go, let's go bother them. them. <laughs> so we pull over to this fucking Rite Aid. These girls are literally just minding their own business, eating a sandwich. Okay, so their car is to the right and we pull up to the left of them guess who's sitting in the passenger seat in between connor and these girls me so i'm sitting there kind of rolls down my window and i'm just like i was like hey what are you doing <laughs> and the girls are like uh, uh like is he talking to us? yeah he's like who are you <laughs> they're like oh we're doing pretty good you're like so uh you guys you guys going to any parties tonight the girls are like, ah, oh, we just were like hanging out by ourselves, getting drunk, you no, know? No, they didn't even get the word out of their mouth. I was rolling up his window, ripping it in reverse, and flying. Dude, it happened in a matter of seconds. I just saw the girls when they're like, yeah, we were like drinking along the fucking window, fly jump first. Literally, all I see is their faces going, as I'm being like flung backwards, fucking like a starship. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. Connor whips out of the parking lot at like fucking 30 miles an hour. I could and not waste another second. Dude, of my I, life. that was like the hardest I think I've laughed like my entire life. Dude, it got to the point where I feel like I was going to pass out. I was wheezing. Dude, we were literally we laughing. Cal- <laughs> really goodwill. We were literally laughing while stuffing our faces with McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Bro, that shit was literally oh. like. I, oh my god, my stomach. I couldn't even yeah. see the road. I was laughing, <laughs> just swerving all over the fucking <laughs> Oh man, oh. good fucking times, bro. This shit was so fucking funny. Oh yeah, what's your shittiest quality? Like, as a human being from your own personal perspective, like, what do you think your worst quality is? I know what mine is, but I want to hear yours first. There's a lot. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. I'll be honest, <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> Dude, everyone has bad qualities. Not even like, on some, like, sad boy shit. Like, every day I kind of hate myself, like, a little more. Yeah, as just time be- goes on. Like, just because, like, I'll do some shit. Yeah. And then I'll be like, wow. wow. Like, that shit earlier that I can't mention. Like, yeah. I hate myself a little more for even yeah. going that length. Um, so, like, just the fact that you feel like you are very self-critical. And, like, it just fucks up your mental state. Like, oh, no, not that. Not that. Oh, okay. That, that needs to be. Like, if thing, I'm not, yeah. I just don't care. I'd say my worst fucking quality. Oof, dude, you first. Me? Yeah. I feel like my worst quality is that my, um, I feel like my, uh, I'm just really inconsistent with my emotions in general. Like, I go from incredibly motivated to incredibly lazy, super happy to super sad. I'm not bipolar by any means. It's just, like, I can't keep a consistent mentality. Like, my mentality is always unhealthy to healthy, and it just bounces around everywhere. I can't just remain a certain way. Like, I'll do super good at school, then do super shit. I'll fucking work really hard on my videos and then do absolutely nothing. I'll be super creative and then have nothing like in my brain like and it bounces around so often 
And um, I mean, that's kind of life. Though. Yeah, yeah. It 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 just kind of like affects me when I'm like in my really low lows, like when I'm incredibly unmotivated and incredibly sad. Like it hits super hard. But then you know, I, that or uh, jealousy when it comes to relationships. Like I'm incredibly jealous, which kind of like limits my partner in doing things, which has always been a problem with my whole life. Like I kind of limit my partners from like being as open as they want to be because my jealousy. I'd say mine. I don't take my own advice, like, ever. Mm. Like, that's that, good. That's, holy shit, that's a good one. Like, that shit oh. fucks me up, bro. Like, I'll be yeah. so good, like, you want relationship advice, you want advice on your career, you want advice on fucking your, your relationship with your family, yeah. like, any type of life shit, like. You got it. I'm yeah. great at giving it, and then I'll just kind of never have the answer <laughs> Yeah. Or either I will, and then not accept them, because it's just Kind of because, like, you're too close to the case, if that makes sense. Like, you're too close to the problems that you can't really... Yeah. You know, step back and be like, oh, this is what Like, I'm incredibly... Do. No, 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 I take that back. What? Being very intelligent, but... Retarded. At the same time. Dude, that's... The, <laughs> I feel you on that so heavy. Like... I'm told by everybody, like, you're a smart guy, you just don't think. Yeah. But, uh, I'm the same way, yeah. I think that's why we get along so well. Yeah. Like, when we try, we're intelligent, but, like, on the casual day, we just shit just kind of, like, flies over the fuck. So <laughs> don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> Dude, do you have problem with, like, your impulse control? Because that's a really big thing. With me. Like, I, I, yes. I need to constantly have something, whether it be eating food or doing something or it's a drug yeah. or just, like, constantly needing some type of input because boredom, like, eats me alive, dude. Well, as this podcast wraps up, this was a pretty good one. I hope it comes out good. Um, I want to leave you all with this message, okay? There is no such thing as an end. Endings are just platforms for new beginnings. Shut the fuck up. We'll see you guys next podcast. Fucking, um... (laughs) Fucking...